Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Oxygen OS update video. After the last trash Oxygen OS 11.0.9.9 update, OnePlus started rolling out the new Oxygen OS 11.0.10.10 for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro and Oxygen OS 11.0.11.11 for OnePlus 8T. Just like the last update, this one as well is a small update of only 86 MB. Currently, the update is getting rolled out in batches. So if you didn't receive the update yet, there's nothing to worry about. It may take some time to receive on your device. By the way, if you didn't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you do it for more such videos. Talking about the update, as per the changelog, only system related changes can be seen. The new software update finally brings in December 2021 Android security patch for the OnePlus 8 series devices at the end of the month. Additionally, with the new software update, OnePlus has optimized the settings interface where the users were facing issues with the Google and digital well-being alignment after installing the previous update. The changelog also mentions that the issues with the GPA and Google Assistant not working properly and the WhatsApp application crashing got fixed. Now, coming to the installation process, if you got the stable version running on your device, you should receive it via the OTA update and can check for the update by going to settings, system, system update and if you didn't receive the update yet follow the links provided below in the description and download the file. Once the file is downloaded, save it in the internal storage. Don't place the downloaded file inside any folder. Go to settings, system, system update, click the gear icon in the right top corner. Local upgrade, click on the file that will be shown here. The update will start automatically. As I already received the OTA update, I'm going with that. Let's have a look into the system information after the update. The major change that comes with this update is the security patch, which was of 1st October previously, has now been changed to 1st December 2021. And the Google Play system update, which was of 1st August previously, remains the same. Coming to the benchmark result after the update, in the Geekbench application, single course code 867 and multi course code 3037. Whereas with the previous build, the scores were 836 and 2978 respectively. No major difference can be seen here. Talking about the changes, I should say it's quite dismaying. The update doesn't fix anything significant. And the most disappointing thing is, even though OnePlus mentioned in the changelog that they updated the settings interface, but the digital welding option is still misaligned. They didn't even fix the known issues. And if you two are facing the issue with Google or digital welding alignment, I will make a separate video for that which will help you fix the issue. Anyways, moving ahead and talking about the GPA and Google Assistants, even with the previous update, I didn't face any issues with these two and till now it's working fine for me. You guys do let me know in the comment section whether you are facing any issues related to that. And if yes, does this update fix the issue? Now coming to the WhatsApp application crashing, as I mentioned in the previous review video, after the last update, I faced this issue multiple times. But not only with WhatsApp, with the Facebook application as well. After installing this new update, till now I didn't face anything as such. Though I need some more time for making a conclusive decision. So I will definitely be covering this section in the review video. So overall, I'm not so happy with this update. Just like the previous few updates, this one as well is buggy one. And as I already mentioned, it's definitely gonna be a disappointment for the users. Like how come the OEM can release such kind of updates, which doesn't even fix the general and known issues that the users are facing. Now coming to the camera application, the version remains the same, that is 5.8.110. So please don't expect anything good from the camera application. Soon I will drop an in-depth review video as well, so stay tuned. And if you are facing any issues after the update, then please post it in the comment section so that I can cover that in the review video. So that's it for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have, please do give it a thumbs up and support the channel by tapping the subscribe button. And please do share your views on this in the comment section and we can also connect on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. 
with that being said thanks for watching the video i will catch you in the next one